We're going to use the MRP spreadsheet now to do an example from the APEX CPIM Part 2 textbook. So let's go and put that model into our Bill of Materials tab here. So we have item A. I put three A's there because it takes three components, B, C, and D. Put item F here because it takes components B, D, and E. And it looks like item B takes two components, C and E. So A takes a B, a C, and a D. F takes a B, a D, and an E. And B takes C and E. Let's put the quantities in. So A takes one B, two C's, two D's. F takes 1B, 1D, 1E, and B takes 2Cs, 3Es. Okay, the model is in our bill of materials. Let's grab the items, paste them into our grid, and put the corresponding lead times in. So we have A has a two-week lead time, F has a one-week lead time, B is one week, C is two weeks, D is one week, and E is one week. I think that's right. Now we'll put the forecast in. So looks like we have a forecast for item A, F, and C. So item A has 10 due at week 4, 100 at week 6, 10 at week 8, F has 20, week 5, 20, week 6, and 10, week 8, and C has 10 every week. And we immediately get results, but we have some things to change here. So let's look at their results for, I know that item B starts with 100 on hand, according to the textbook, and item C starts with 120 on hand. Item C also has a lot size of 150 units and a safety stock of 15. Once we put, on, put in all of these parameters, we immediately get the results that show in the textbook. What's in addition in this spreadsheet is if the planner wants to play with, well, maybe you want to order multiple weeks of supply so that you're not ordering every week. You might not want your supplier to get an order in consecutive weeks here. So what this spreadsheet allows you to do is say, okay, I'm going to order three weeks of supply. I still have a lot size of 150 and a safety stock of 15, and let's see how that changes my ordering pattern. So you see here, now it's telling us to order 300 units at week one, and that will get us two weeks of supply, and we don't need to make another order until week four. So again, that's the spreadsheet working, putting in a brand new model, multi-level bill of materials. I don't need to know the level of each item or whether or not it's a purchased item or not. No VBA code, all formulas happening in the spreadsheet, and it allows the planner to quickly manipulate planning parameters to do an analysis and figure out what's the best way to set up your ERP system, or if the business is small enough, use the spreadsheet to do your planning.